My name is Denise McCabe and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Australia on the New South Wales Central Coast and this is my Makeup Monday for this week. Today I'm going to play with a new set that's going to be released on the 2nd of November called Eden's Garden. It's a suite of products. Um, there's stamp set dies, specialty designer series paper, um, cotton paper, yes cotton paper and gems. Um, the stamp set and dies will be carried over into the next mini catalogue that starts in January, but the papers and gems won't be. That'll be just while, while supplies last. So that will be available to customers from the 2nd of November. So this is the card we're going to have a play with and make, and I'm actually going to make it a Christmas card. It's not a Christmas stamp set, um, but the paper's got gold foil in it, and it's really beautiful. Um, so this is the one I thought we'd have a play with and make and this is another one I did for a sketch challenge for my uplines um, team page and that's They're the only two cards I've made so far with this set, but it's a really lovely set and I'm looking forward to making some more um, Cards with it. So bear with me and I'll put my phone up into the holder and we can get started Okay, So this is the Eden Garden um, Suite so you have the stamp set and the dies, the designer series paper, the cotton paper and the gems. The whole suite is $144 or you can buy the bundle separately or these things separately. Now the papers and the gems are while supplies last, um, so they are only going to be while supplies last. The stamp set and the dies will be carried over to the next mini catalog that will start on i think it's the 3rd of january so that's the suite these are the dies this is the stamp set which is a lovely stamp set and i'll show you some show you the paper the designer series paper it's really beautiful so oops. <clears throat> so that's the paper in the card that we're using. So the front of the papers are all, have all got the gold foil in them. I'll just make sure you can see, yep. So they've all got the gold foil. Really pretty. And you can use these for Christmas. I'm going to use it a lot for Christmas cards. This one's just got a very fine gold dot in it. That one's a little bit detailed. I think that's the nicest piece. And the back of them are very um, neutral. They're all in the succulent and evergreen colours. But, you know, there's like, they're just sort of, they could go on any kind of car, male, female, Christmas, anything. So really nice pack of paper. Um, the thing about specialty paper is that it generally is special. <laughs> so, so that's the um, e Ever Eden Specialty Designer Series paper. So I'll make sure that's the card we're making. So I have got it all cut up and ready to go. So this is a piece of A5 soft succulent. It's one of the new in colours. Well, I guess the in colours aren't that new anymore. They're nearly six months old. <laughs> so, oh, I didn't score that very well. Oops, let me just get that over here. And then we've got a piece of gold foil. I have run out. I've got it on order. New new gold foil but this is the brushed gold or brushed metallics um so it looks a bit liney but that's still gold <laughs> and this is the piece of the new beautiful paper we're just going to lay that on top like so and this is a really simple card i die cut this one with the um stitch so sweetly dies this is a piece of the shimmer vellum in the new in colors in soft succulent 
And then this is one of the frames. This frame, which I've already pre-cut. And we're going to put that there. But we're going to heat emboss a greeting here. Um, and these are the gems. And they're really interesting gems because they look a little bit red sometimes. But then they're green. Like, they really quite change colour. <laughs> so, let's get started. So, it's not there's not a lot to this card, really. So, I'll put my card base there. And I shall get my seal. I often have trouble with seal. <laughs> but we will it a go I um I've been watching a few other demonstrators from the US and they always have their silicon mat beside them and they start their seal off with the silicon mat which has been helpful for me so we're just going to place this straight onto our gold foil I'll make sure my head's not coming into camera straight on leaving a border on either side there we go. I won't attach it straight to the base yet, but that's where it's going to go. <clears throat> and that's going to go on dimensionals. So what we want to do is get some Versa mark out. I shall put this, where's my paper piece? Oh, here it is. I shall put this. Poke a few more little bits out of this. There we go. Whoopsie. There we go. So I'll just get rid of those. <clears throat> I'll put that there. Now, what I'm going to do is with some of this, I'm just going to stick it down with this 3M tape because I want to put that here now I'm going to make it I made this one a Christmas card just because I thought it was Christmassy I could use the hello there or sending hugs but I think I might make it another Christmas card I think it I just really like it for Christmas so I'm using the perfectly plaid um, greeting here because that was one that just seemed to fit with um oh no I should have put that down but not to worry um with the the space so that's why I've got the little die cut there so I'm just going to ink this up with Versa Mark. sort of oh I should <coughs> just put a bit of this on so I'm trying to center my little frame and I'll just do that again and just put it in the center okay And get rid of these okay so I've got some new embossing powder here <coughs> which I'm just going to use Just put that over to one side and I'll just make sure there's nothing anywhere I don't want and I'll bring my um, heat tool in so this could be a bit noisy so I'll put some music over the top and speed it up I 
embossing. <laughs> it's just so cool. <laughs> it really is. Just looks so good. Now, I'm going to put my little frame around it and I've used I'm going to use glue dots to do that. So, I shall get my pick tool and put that away. <clears throat> Um, only because if I put my cardstock onto onto the glue dot and pull it off, it might because it's um quite intricate this die shape, it might pull it off, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just putting glue dots around. <coughs> didn't work there we go <laughs> getting stuck on with glue dots so I put about a half a dozen or eight around <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pick that up and center. I hope my head's not over. <clears throat> center that pretty much on my vellum and just push it down. So I'll bring this back in. Now, the problem with vellum is that glue dots do show through. But because we've got embossing, heat embossing, and the, the filigree frame, we can put glue dots all around in those places that won't show through. So if I put one here, here, you just got to place them strategically and then the glue dot won't show through the vellum. Oh, put that back over here because I just realised I might not have been in camera view then. Sorry about that. That's all right, and I'm going to put one sort of behind the Merry Christmas to centre it down. To sort of make sure it's down in the middle. Maybe around the S. There we go. I'm just going to place that on my Stitch So Sweetly die. Just trying to get it lined up on there that looks pretty good press it down <clears throat> so the edges will flap but the center secure so and then i'm going to put that on with uh, dimensionals one in the middle <clears throat> And put it in the center of my base that I've made, my card front. And then I'm going to put that on the front with dimensionals as well. So you've got your border happening all the way around. And that looks pretty good. <clears throat> uh, 
um, the soft succulent and evergreen ribbon would also work perfectly with this suite. Um, I didn't put any ribbon on this card because I thought it would be a bit over the top, like too much. Um, but yeah, here are the gems. So I've used the round ones on this. There's also these um, like teardrop shapes. I'm not sure if I want to put them on or what I'm doing. <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's put them on. Look straight would be good. <laughs> So the gems and the paper will only be available while supplies last. And that's the same as that butterfly paper that came out with the butterfly brilliance die set. Um, the paper sold out really, really fast. So I would make sure if you wanted the paper, you'd get it soon, like get in early to get it. So that's with the teardrops. I'm not sure if I like the teardrops. I think I like the dots better. I don't know. And I've just got to make sure that I've got... I mean, I like the teardrops. So I'm not sure if I like them on this card. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and I shall get an insert. <clears throat> So inside this one, I've just stamped, um, where are we? I've stamped just this spray. Um, <clears throat> which I might do again because I have got that mounted. Now what's, oh, here it is. I'll take that off there and put that one here. I'll get rid of my verse mark and I'll get. Um, the evening evergreen down. I don't need that now. So, as I said, this set's not available until the 2nd of November for customers. If you want it now, like I've got it, you can certainly do that by joining. <clears throat> so, and the suite itself could be your joining kit um so yeah if you're interested in that just send me a message and we can work talk through talk that through um <clears throat> that's not the best block for this greeting this is a lovely greeting from the perfectly plaid stamp set may this special season be wrapped in love and joy we all need that we go <clears throat> what did I do with my cleaner oh here it is <laughs> honestly I'll get rid of this one as well <clears throat> okay so I'll put these back in here and then I shall close my ink pad up <clears throat> And I'll just get my snail to put my insert in. So, <clears throat> there we have it. <clears throat> I've got a frog in my throat yet again. So, there's our Christmas card using the um, new... Eden's Garden that's coming out. So I'll put those there and this is the stamp set and dies and gems and you can see the paper that I showed you earlier. This is another card I made for a sketch challenge with um, my uplines team using the paper. So that's really, I really was really happy with that one. And this label within the, the dies is great to stamp on for your greeting. 
um so i really like that so it's a really lovely suite so keep in mind it's available from the 2nd of november and <clears throat> let me just move that to one side and i wanted to just show you the tag kit that is available now i thought we'd make one of the tags i really like the little truck so i'm going to do the truck but they're oversized tags like they're quite large you could put them on a card front and they would work perfectly like for example see they would fit on a card front um so yeah they would work perfectly this is an all-inclusive kit you get everything you need even the little block to make up these tags for christmas and there are 12 tags in the kit or 14 12 12 tags in the kit so these are the four santa this one that you see stamp the christmas tree and the truck so your instructions will tell you everything that you need to know there you've got all these instructions what you need so we'll go with the kit the, sorry the truck and we'll have a look and see what we need so we need we need one of these and we need one of these um <clears throat> And there's ribbon, there's an ink spot, but I've already taken that out. Oh, no, I haven't. Here it is. I'm not going to open that. I've got Knight of Navy. There's a block. There's some dimensionals. Here's, here's a little ink stamp set. And there's some little sticky back gems. So. Okay. I've got a block so I don't need to use and I don't want to use that ink pad I've got Knight of Navy somewhere here it is so we'll put those back in here because we're just going to make up the little truck <coughs> okay here we go so the little truck is stamped with season's greetings so that's all you have to do for the little truck Seem to have a bit of a passion for little trucks. <laughs> was my that was um loads of love was the stamp set that I put when I joined. You could create your own. Well, you had to take certain things for the starter kit, but you could choose some of your stamp sets. So I chose one that was called um, Loads of Love, and it was a little truck. <laughs> um. And you put the people in it and the presents in the back and I, I still have that that's not that's one i won't part with because i love it so this one says special delivery so i'm just going to stamp it here make sure it stamps really nicely and i put it on my little tag make sure my head's not coming in there we go how cute is this so i'm just going to make one tag up just to show you <clears throat> so $33 this this kit was um, and it's got everything you need in it even the block so I'll just pop that back there and put that in there now how do they say they say to put that up on dimensionals well I'll just use my dimensionals here so you get some little dimensionals. I put them out somewhere, didn't I? Here. So you get little ones. If they're too big, you can just cut them in half. But I'm just going to use the mini dimensionals that I've already got. So. <coughs> oh, just get off me. <laughs> okay, so we'll do that. the backings off and we're going to stick that oh 
don't want to stick it across the headlights. I want to put it up a little bit higher. There. And then we're going to put this on dimensionals too. The all-inclusive kits are great gifts. Um, if you've got friends that are a bit crafty and like making things, um, there's more than just Christmas kits. There are other kits. Um, you just need to go onto my um, online shop and have a look. I think I might have needed another one under there. No, I don't think so. That's okay. Um, it tells you, even tells you how much twine to use. And I don't think there's any little gems. I think the gems are the gems are for the Christmas tree. I'm pretty sure. And Santa. And where would those gems go? I'm just looking. And the gems for the leaves. So you can put some of those little adhesive back gems on here. But I would make sure you do it for the Christmas tree first. And Santa. And the leaves and holly. Myself. So it even tells you to have how much twine to use. Baker's thread. That seems like a lot. 30 centimetres. Or well, maybe not. I'll do as I'm told. <laughs> okay. And just poke that out. It comes out easily. Thread that through. And there's one of your tags already done. How easy is that? Just see if the little stamps it. It's even got a to and a from, so you can stamp that on the back. I would probably do that before you do the front stamping. I'm going to put it on my little teeny block. But the block that comes with it covers you for the big leaf as well. That's why they do a certain size. Let me just... Look at that. So cute. Okay, I'm going to put that over here. To and from. So I have my first Christmas tag made. <laughs> so that's one of the tags. And as I said, you get everything in the, in the kit that you need to make the 12 tags up. You could make six tags and put the six on the um, onto card fronts. It's entirely up to you. Or you can just make the kit as is, the way it says to. Um, that's entirely up to you. So that's one of the tags out of the Christmas tag kit. But as I said, there are heaps of other kits online in the um, online store. So I go online and have a look at all the kits because they're all really gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. Now, so that's what we've made today. This is my October host code that's running for another week. Um, if you want to place an order of $30 or more, you'll get... Um, now, let me see where I put them. Here you go. I will send you out the makings of this card kit using the gorgeous leaves car, um, dies. And this one's a Z fold card, so it's... A little bit fancy fold <clears throat> so that's if you place a 30 on $30 online order with me in the next week you'll get that class in the mail sent out to you make sure you use that host code and this is my first in-person class I have one place left if anybody's interested for next Saturday at 1 30 so we're going to make that one that one that one and that one um so yeah that's next saturday the 30th of november at 1 30 um cost of the class is 25 dollars, and we make all these four cards and you'll get an afternoon tea i am going to run it outside in my courtyard uh, weather permitting so if you'd like to fill up that last spot just send me a message and i can put you down for that class 
um, so they're my classes I've got going at the moment. But this is our Make It Monday for this week using the beautiful Eden's Garden Suite that will be available from the 2nd of November. And that's our first little Christmas tag with the, from the Christmas Tag Kit. So thanks for watching today and I hope everybody has a great week and keep safe and I'll see you on Friday for my Facebook Live. Bye.